Uh, what a pleasure to meet you guys and thank you for inviting us to this great location. Um, I'll start with that. Uh, was it the kind of, uh, of, of set where you learned something every day or many things every day? Oh, absolutely. I learned yeah. so, 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 so much. I learned more on this film than any film I've ever done. Uh, and I probably learned more on this film than I've learned since like school. <laughs> I, mean, I really learned a lot. So that was a really fun part of it. Is it daunting the kind of people you meet? Uh, no, Inspiring? I, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's a pleasure. I mean, you really, you get to meet people who are part of the program and uh, they, they are eager to share their knowledge and to, uh, to you know, kind of assure that the, the film carries uh, with it an authenticity that they approve of, you know. It's a very cool atmosphere. What kind of training and knowledge training is required uh, for the characters? Well, I think it depends on the character for yeah. sure, but, uh, um, you know, at first we got to come here for mm -hmm. like a, an astronaut boot camp, <laughs> um, but it was really like an immersion into NASA, into the program and understanding what it really is. Um, I think the technical aspects are probably less important, you know, it was almost like a, a really fun, like the coolest field trip trip you've ever <laughs> been on, you know, we, yeah. we were doing, we got to do everything, you know, we got to see everything do everything, really understand what NASA is all about and understand the program. So uh, it was it was really exciting to have that, you know, yeah. be part of it. What happens on an astronaut boot camp? What kind of things do you get to do? <laughs> <laughs> a we lot of simulations? Uh, we did some, some simulations. We, we did a, a T-38 simulator, which is the jet that the astronauts mm. fly around uh, during training. They, they're they like jet setting all over the country, multiple times a day even. And uh, we, um, we got to go in this uh, partial gravity simulator, which is basically a harness that's hooked up to a uh, hydraulic uh, jack, and it, it simulates moon's gravity, um, which was super fun. And then we did a, a zero G gravity mm -hmm. simulator where you get on this harness. You, you have to wear a helmet and everything, but it's to uh, it's to simulate being on the space station and doing like a spacewalk. So any pressure you put against an object is like equally imparted within space like you you could push off with your pinky and you'll yeah. go flying yeah so it's really it's wild pretty incredible nothing to do after lunch always before lunch I suppose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a lunch we got a nice lunch yeah. of, uh, of space food, space lunch. food. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of things you do on astronaut boot camp. Yes. Uh, uh, tell us about the, you know, what you can discover about, you know, the, the real uh, people that you portray, and uh, is there a lot of personal information about them, or is it just the public information about, you know, their profession? Well, in my case, you know, because he had written this book, it's it's a really amazing book. I suggest mm. it because it's it's fascinating and and it's really beautifully written too. So I learned a lot about my character and um, about the person who I played, and. Um, he is uh, just an amazing, amazing guy, you know, and I, uh, I'm so impressed with him. I really, be he became uh, my hero, uh, and I, I feel just blessed to have gotten to portray him. Uh, I learned a lot about him. I could talk about him for a long time, so I'll leave it there, but it was cool. Yeah, I, I mean, um, there, there wasn't a ton of material on, on Elliot C. Um, mm -hmm. What I was able to... Uh, to get to study was provided by Damien. He, he'd really dove in and, and got some footage of Elliot, got some uh, excerpts from uh, uh, from First Man, the, the book, and from Deke's book as well. And uh, and then some of it was, you know, first-hand accounts from people who knew the Seas when they were young. And uh, it was an interesting sort of piecing together of, of Elliot. What do you think the movie says most about that, you know, historic moment in time that people might have not heard about or know of? Yeah, I think what it what it took to accomplish, what it took mm. to get there, both for Neil personally, what he was going through, and and the program and the families of, of the astronauts and everything. It's a it's a real good um, authentic reality of of what uh, what it costs those those people to, to accomplish such a great thing. Yeah, I mean, to me, it really, uh, it sheds light on um, Neil's personal, you know, mm. struggle. And, and also, um, 
you know, there are a lot of things that I wasn't really aware of before. You know, you know about Apollo 11 and getting to the moon, yeah. obviously, but, um, y you know, his, his, uh, his early career, you know, how the movie opens with him fighting, uh, flying just to the, on the edge of the atmosphere, and his Gemini 8 uh, mission where they lost control and he somehow miraculously gained control of, of, uh, of that ship while it was spinning it, you know, he, I forgot what how many G's Crazy. it was, like eight G's or something, just getting worse and worse. I mean, you you really learn a lot about this guy and the just the uh, the drive and the the um, the courage that it takes to to do something like that. It's like extraordinary uh, people. These people are extraordinary, absolutely uh, extraordinary. Yeah, and it was an extraordinary time. I mean, we've all grown up internationally uh, uh, seeing that footage, basically. So what do you, when was your first encounter with the first Man on the Moon footage? And, and do you remember the impression it gave you? You know, I think I've just always, it's sort of like it's always part the back of, of your, your mind. life, yeah. right? Yeah. So I grew up and just was aware of it. And I don't remember a moment of learning about it, but it's one of those fascinating things. I mean, it's really, I can't, really imagine a greater human accomplishment. I mean, I think it's the greatest uh, accomplishment of humanity up to this point, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's something we should all celebrate and it's something that's a, 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 a human thing, you know, more than anything else to me. And to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's like, you can sort of take it for advantage when you're a kid, which is actually pretty incredible that kids from, you know, the. 70s and 80s and on to sort of live with the fact that we've been to the moon as reality um, you know but but again like I, I I did take it for advantage I thought it was totally awesome and I, mm. you know I understood that it was challenging for humanity to get there but I was like under the impression that that was like okay that's the first step then we're gonna go to Mars mm. then we're gonna be traveling you know intergalactically that sort of thing <laughs> um, but uh, but you know, through this film, you, you get to really understand what it what it was that went into that whole process and the, uh, accomplishing the goal. Like I said, and it's pretty incredible. Yeah, the sacrifices that they made. I mean, you know, very few people would go that distance. Yeah. I mean, literally, very uh, few when they people. have families. Uh, it's unbelievable. The more you like, you can uh, you can comprehend it, you can understand it, but the more you learn about it, the less you can understand mm -hmm. how someone could be like that, you know, because it's, uh, it takes so much. It takes so much uh, of these people who did what they did, and it's like, I, I just want to thank them, you know, for what they did. Uh, let's talk about Damien and his passion for this project. Uh, did you feel it from the start? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I went in um, and uh, did my audition with him, and mm. it was just him and the casting director, and he, uh, I walked in and he just started talking to me and we spent probably 35, 40 minutes just hanging out, just talking, talking about life and talking about the film and Elliot C and everything and then we did the scenes like once, once each and he was mm -hmm. just sort of like excited to get started and uh, the, the way he was talking about, you know, the things that he wanted to capture with the film and the way, the style with which he would capture it was, uh, was infectious for sure. I, I, it got me really pumped. Um, Ryan said in a, in a TV interview a couple of days ago that he said you know he was probably going to try learning to fly and then you know he, he just gave it up. Uh, anything you tried to do and you thought you know it's not worth it? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did that once. I tried to fly. I, I yeah. took 20 hours and then I, again I gave it up because I was flying in Los Angeles and the tra the air traffic's insane. It's like you're yeah. constantly just like you got to move this way. You're like yeah. uh, down. It was too much. Wow. But there wasn't anything in particular, you know, there was one moment where I was kind of freaked out because I was in the spacesuit and it was very claustrophobic and we were strapped in to the command module and we were there for, for hours. Um, and you, you just, it's that feeling of you can't move, like I couldn't go anywhere, I was stuck there. And it, you know, the, the control panel's right in front of your face and you're just right next to each other. <laughs> and the walls are like this and you're just, and the camera's here and you can't go anywhere. So like that that freaked me out for a second. I had to breathe through it and just think about Mike Collins and what he was thinking <laughs> at the time, you know. Like this was nothing compared to that.